Hello everyone! Welcome to another card video. Today we're using Alta News Simple Flowers stamp set and my favorite things thank you die or the thanks die. We're also using Basic Gray's Hipster 6x6 paper pack. So I'm using my Misty to arrange the background panel on my card. I am going to have some in the background and some things are going to be popped up with foam tape. So I'm using Wet Cement by Hero Arts to stamp this multiple times. <clears throat> I'm using these large flowers in the background. Uh, they're very mid-century looking. I'm using Tailored Expressions Dijon for this one. This one is, I'm using Hero Arts Neon Red. And at first, when I bought that red, I was like, what did I buy? But it really dries down to a great corally bright red and now I love it. I'm using Tailored Expressions Potato Chip to do these little circles. These stems are a pain in the butt. I had the hardest time lining them up. I'm stamping and masking to try to get these somewhat straight and where I want them. They're just so thin, um, it took some manipulation. So now I'm stamping the things that I'm gonna fussy cut out and pop up with some foam tape. So I'm stamping um, this third flower in Paper Trite Inks Aqua Mist and the little leaf um, images are gonna be in Tailored Expressions Sweet Basil or basil, depending on where you're from. So I've die cut the Thanks die um, four times from Tale of Expressions Poppy Seed cardstock. That's the same ink um, that I used for the stems. And I'm just uh, using a piece of press and seal to keep everything adhered, you know, semi, you know, adhered um, to the surface so that I can put some multimedia mat and layer these die cuts together. It takes some finagling. You have to finagle the die cuts. And I'm pretty proud of myself that my head did not get on camera. So once they've all been um, put uh, adhered together, I'm using this um, little file, this paper file, to get all of the little paper hairs off. Um, when you die cut and there's such a wafer thin dye, they get these little hairs and you gotta kind of brush them off. So I'm using this pattern paper um, to go on the side to accent these beautiful colors. And I'm gonna pop up this background or front panel with some foam tape. It's a standard A2 top folding card. And now I'm just arranging the elements the way I, I had originally planned to pop up all of those leaves 
with foam tape. Um, but the way that I, the way that it's finished, you can't pop it up or it'll, it's gonna get in the way. So I popped up this one leaf and now I'm gonna adhere the other two flat so that they're not in the way of the other elements in the card. You can really see the card coming together now. So I'm going to use some more Ranger Multimedia Matte on the back of the Thanks sentiment and adhere that onto my card with a little bit hanging off the left edge there. I'm using my T-ruler to make sure it's straight. More paper hairs. Those darn things. And I'm just using that acrylic block to keep it all flat while it dries. And that's the card. Thanks. Dexter. Dexter. Do thumbs up. Thumbs up for mommy's videos. Dexter. Dex, do thumbs up. Thumbs up if you're a dinosaur. Thumbs up if you're a dinosaur.